everybody we're back we just got done with our first dungeon of the game uh i'm gonna go ahead and score it uh 10 out of 10 i loved it loved every second of it uh, there's, there's a little it, you know what it was it did a good job of getting me to use the the mechanics of the game you know and getting me to think in the direction that it wants me to think in uh so yeah it did the job all right, let's get back in with some story. Try some stuff to tell us. The rift that was here is gone now, which means we can reach the place you were trying to get to earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah. You there, a moment of your time. Uh. I am left, Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? What's up, bitch? Oh, Princess Zelda. I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Er, why are you wearing that? So, we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I am surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Tri accompanied you this whole time? Thank you so much, Try. You can see me? Who could miss you? You're floating right there. And aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Oh, so Lady Impa couldn't see you? How odd. Mm, something's up with left. Oddities aside, I'm worried about his majesty and the general. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? Here you go, girl. If I recall correctly... Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. I mean, this is the same art style they used in uh, Link's Awakening, and I am never gonna get used to it. It's it's never not gonna be adorable. It's so cute. I can't even deal with it right now. Did a little dealy d walk cycle, right? Look at Zelda's little little feet. <laughs> Right near, princess. I don't think this is really the minister. Sums up. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague in. Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, will only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no. I've got to go save Link. Hmm? Who's this tart? Hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? I told you somebody was going to start suspecting that Zelda did something nefarious. Did you see him? Well... What? <laughs> really blew his hair back. Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, <laughs> I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Phew, we finally got through to him. All right, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? What's been bugging me is what's going on with your glasses and your fucking pigtails. You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well? Maybe it's because she fixed the rift. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
But back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We have both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. Seems the rifts change people somehow. Oh, okay. That's why they can see. That's why they can see Try. Oh, yeah. Guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lewberry. Lewberry. Lewberry? Like, like Blueberry or Burberry? I'm Impa's older brother. Okay, we're getting some lore. Expanded universe stuff. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Lewberry, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big nasty blue fella who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spend my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts has appeared, and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanished without a trace, after which townsfolk would say they'd been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that came crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword. One that's effective against the rift monsters. The sword of might Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Mm hmm. Plenty of monsters came out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. And yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Uh huh? Hey, Zelda. I'm going to fly up high to look for some of the other big rifts. Back already, huh? I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Okay. I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time in crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lewberry. Princess, I urge you to go with try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who have gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Hi. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. Oh. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul waters. Please let me know if you require further information. Sir. All right, princess. I leave it to you to find the king, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Do you have something for me? That sword you've got there. Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. Jackpot. I'll have to do more research on it though. So talk to me later if you're interested. Damn it. All right. This is a shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prankster that blocked it off? Hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. Um. 
Mm. Whoops. Wait, hold on. Sorry, guys. No, it doesn't. There we go. Alright, those should disappear, right? Uh, and also, I should be able to... There. What's up, pal? Well, not as if standing here is going to get the junk out of my way. Not sure how much longer I can just wait here, huh? It's clear, and with the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. What are you going to give me? Quit flapping your gums. The 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Ah, a cool breeze, a clear path, and the sweet taste of convenience. We've all been real sad since one of our horses went missing. You can go talk to my grandpa about it. He's the wrinkly guy over there. Uh, talk to the cow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up, cow? How you doing? Hmm? So you get fresh milk, huh? I produce entourage. Anybody? Anybody? Aware of uh, Mark Wahlberg talks to animals? No? I'll show myself out. Look at all the horses. I'll wait till I ride them. What's up? Ah, welcome to Hyrule Ranch. I'm afraid we're not loading out mounts at the moment. We're a bit distraught, see? One of our horses went and ran off. Hardly out of the un hardly out of the usual for her to gallop out west. What's odd is she hasn't come back. The whole family went looking, but she but we didn't find her. If you see our horse, I don't suppose you'd mind bringing her back here. All right. As per tradition with the Zelda game, there's lots of people who want you to do shit for them. But it does, it does net you items usually, or at least a uh, currency that you can then, well, hold on. Oh, noticed our music box, did you? It plays real pretty music. Let me tell you, it's a prize for our flag races. Oh, flag races are the little contests we hold here at the ranch. You should try them sometime. You'll need to bring your own horse, though. Uh. Hmm. Strange shape, rectangular whorls. Got it. I, I really need to make a mental note about what the buttons are, right? Why is the conjure... Oh, wait, wait. Y is to conjure items and things, and then X is to use try to bind. Yep. Well, next to the horse, we're saying mount the horse and blah, 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 blah. Dismount with B at any time. Yep. All right, how about this? All right, here we go. Is this their horse, though? I don't think this is theirs, right? Maybe this is it. Oh, it is. I think. Say, that's our horse. You filthy horse thief. She's finally come back home where she belongs. I can't thank you enough. Who would have thought it? The poor girl ending up in a place like that. She and I are both in your debt. Tell you what, Sprout, if you ever need a steed, I'll lend them to you free of charge. Horses are great for getting places quickly. You can go ahead and saddle up on whichever one you'd like. All right. We got horses now, folks. <laughs> Look me in the eye and tell me these aren't the cutest goddamn horses you've ever seen. Right? 
Uh, which one do I want? Mmm. This one looks like my my horse from uh Breath of the Wild. So we're not loaning her out. I feel like this one was ours, right? This is the royal. This is our horse from Breath of the Wild, right? Marzipan. That's what I named her. Sorry about that. <laughs> you got your pick of any of our other fine horses. Okay. Hi. They probably wouldn't put a pony in this one, right? All right, let's go. Okay. I'm way off course. But I feel like I'm finding little helpful things here and there. Piece of heart, piece of those little blue curly things. Oh, hold on. Hey, hi, and hello. Acorn gathering. Give it a go. Fun to snag, fun to bag. Gathering acorns is never a drag. Bars. All you got to do is pick up the acorns that I scatter about. If you're fast, you'll even get a prize. You get one try for 10 rupees. What do you say? Fuck it. How many rupees? Oh, I have 236. Okay. That'll be 10 rupees, please. All right. Time to gather. What do I get for it, though? Okay. Jeez, I'm not supposed to get that one. Ugh. Pick up 16 acorns of gold. One minute. Fuck. Okay. This is going to take a few tries. Let's to figure out. What do I have? Okay, okay, how many do I have? Twelve. Uh, uh. Damn it. Fourteen. Damn it. I'm out of time. Yeah, I don't know how to get all the way up there, right? All right, I need to figure out how to get that one. Fifteen. right no mm. okay all right we can do it Nice work. You got all the acorns. The time was 2.18. Not too bad. You didn't hit the goal time. Well, I'll be here. You can always try again. All right, let's try it again. Uh, how do I do this? Uh... Oh, close. Damn it. Was it 120? 
110. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. This dude is grifting me. Alright, I need to find the optimal route. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Okay, come on. Get him. Got him. All right. Third time's the charm. Nice work. You got all the acorns. And your time was 57.68. You are amazing. All right, then. It's prize time. Here's this half-eaten Abba Zabba. You were taking your time. And I got hungry. 20 bucks. Cool. So I lost ten dollars. I take my horse to the desert. What am I gonna name this horse? All right, it's kind of tradition. Oh shit! I guess you can't take your horse. That would have been way more heartbreaking if I'd actually named him. I would have been more attached, right? Like if his name was Gumdrop, and then we immediately. Had to contend with dealing with the loss of gun gumdrop. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. This desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we could check around the area with the biggest rift. The monsters just keep coming. I'm completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum. Uh, I'm here for Urbosa. Rifts have shown up all across the desert ever since our Sanctum got pulled into one. I'm still in shock about the Sanctum. We've got to get rid of the rifts as soon as possible. Whoa, whoa. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. Finally, I've been hearing about these smoothies. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing taste bud pleasing smoothies. Process is simple. You pick two ingredients and I blend them together. So come on now, let's get to it. Ready to make a smoothie? Yep. Uh, I think they boost the healing effect of the drinker. Grants drinker resistance to electricity. Next other ingredients. All right, what was it? Nectar. Boost the healing effect to the drinker by a lot. All right. Uh, so the drinker's energy. Using a drink, it makes the drinker glow for a time. Stronger effects for the drink. All right, let's try some. Let's experiment a little bit. All right, fresh milk. And let's try fresh milk and uh, floral nectar. You got it. Some of this, some of that. Mix it all up with a teensy pinch of... Alrighty. Your smoothie. You got a milky sweet smoothie. I wouldn't drink that. Mm, let's try fresh milk. And grapes. Your smoothie. You got a refreshing milky smoothie. All right. Uh, All right, the milky smoothie seem to do better. Okay. Try this and this. 
That sounds gross, but we'll see what happens. Should be like, brrr. She doesn't look happy. <laughs> unfortunate smoothie was it do? It's a bit chunky. It smells of kind of weird, but it's technically still a smoothie. And I think this person needed something, right? What was this? Curious about my fan? I'd be willing to part with it if you come talk to me about something else first. All right, what's up, toots? Yeah. Hello there, wanderer. Welcome to the Tough Mango Plant Lab. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation in preparation for potential food crises. Uh. My current field of study is focused on, you guessed it, tough mangoes. Oh. After much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. There's just one little problem. This mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest fast enough. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. At this rate, I'll run out of funding for my project. In response, I've begun enlisting folks to help with a little game of mango rush. You can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force, like from a spin, there's a participation free. Oh, of course, there it is. <laughs> but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Huh? Would you like to give it a try? Mm -hmm. I'll need 10 rupees for your participation fee. Is that okay? Sure. Uh -huh. Great. Head downstairs to the field and wait for me. Uh -huh. Mangoes can be harvested with a bit of force, but too much and they'll burn up. I'd like you to harvest 40 or more mangoes. If you do, you'll get to take some home. Let's get started. All right, I bet mangoes make a tasty smoothie. All right, what do we do? Uh, all right. Uh, mm, no, it's gonna get more tricky. All right. Uh. Oh, come on. How many am I allowed to miss? Ah, I missed, oh, I missed the one, yeah. Exquisite. You've shocked me. I didn't think anyone would be capable of har harvesting that many. Here you are. Please take these, the, these tough mangoes with you as thanks. You got three tough mangoes. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Got it. Aww. You're the first to harvest so superbly. Mm -hmm. She's good. Real good. Maybe she can even handle the extra danger seeds. Huh? So actually, I have some vibrant seeds that yield even larger harvests. I had them shelved, but I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. Huh? Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. Now you're going to do that right now. These seeds sprout sharp thorns, but I'm sure you'll have no trouble harvesting. Let's see. 50 or more, huh? Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh, damn it. Whoops. Nope. That wasn't right. Just hang out, Dark Knight. All right. Exquisite. I didn't think you'd be able to harvest so many from those seeds, though I'd seen your potential. 
to thank you. I'll give you my golden fan. I got it a long time ago from a dancing tournament. I think this chick used to be a stripper. That's how she got through college. You got a golden fan. Just holding this glimmering fan made with golden feathers makes you feel glamorous. Yeah, it's that's how she got her degree in botany. Please take the tough mangoes you harvested with you as well. You got five tough mangoes. All right. I bet she's capable of harvesting the special ones too. Sure, it's risky, but those can be avoided, right? You have stoked the flame that burns in my wee researcher soul. This is nowhere near the true potential of tough mangoes. I'm going to develop something even more amazing. It may take a little time though. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. You learn the soft bed echo. I bet you just recover hearts quicker, right? Am I right or am I right? I'm probably right. There we go. Oh. oh. Gotta avoid these guys. Who's that? What's that guy? Oh, it's a... Fuck, what are they called? Fuck, I forgot what they were called. Uh. They're creepy as shit, though. Come on. Alright. Alright. Uh... Get him. <laughs> what is it? You learned the redead. This is where I'm supposed to go. Where is this? Is it okay? Huh? My friends are nearby. I can create a rift entrance beneath here. Come on, Zelda. Oh, you can't come with me, can you? So what should we do? We could try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way you can get through the sand. Hmm. What's up, girl? Eh? You're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Get through the sand. Uh, no. You aren't getting past me. Only those authorized by our chief are allowed entry. Now go home. I don't think she's going to move. Ah! -ha. What was that? Is someone hurt? I have to stay at my post, otherwise I'd go see what's going on. All right. Uh, we're going to investigate further next episode, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, did you have fun today? I had a blast. We learned so many new critters and creatures. Is she okay? Uh, we're going to figure out who this is next time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, relax. Rel whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I? What the fuck? Okay. All right. All right. We're going to deal with this shit later. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Looks like I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. I'm going to weasel my way out of it. Uh, see you next time. Bye guys.